Brandon Woodruff gets to work against the Los Angeles Dodgers here today. He has been unstoppable here at home. Six and one this season in seven. Brandon Woodruff starts at American Family Field. He is five and oh, the 238 ERA in those seven starts. A swing and a miss. He got him. Went back to back with the slider and finally strikes out Mookie Betts. The one two pitch is ripped out of line. Left center field, base hit Trey Turner. He takes the lead 143 142. Trey's got the H today. And now Freddie to right center field answers with a hit of his own. Davis cuts it off, quickly gets it back in. Turner stops at third. Throw goes behind him, and he's in safely. Freddie Freeman follows the Trey Turner single with a double, and they're at second and third with one out. 2-2 two -two pitch coming. Ground ball to third. They're coming home. They got an out in between third and home. Caratini runs Turner back. Well done. Did it perfectly. I'm right back to third base. Freddie Freeman standing there. Easy out. Going right at Luis Arias and gets the out. There goes Smith. And a check swing. He went. Brandon Woodruff gets out of the first inning with nothing across. Brandon Woodruff with a couple of big strikeouts. None bigger than this one against Max Muncy. Jeff Fairchild says, yes, you did. For Ryan Pepio, his sixth start in the major leagues. Dodgers have won four of his first five. He's back in the rotation with Clayton Kershaw on the injured list. And Yelich draws a leadoff walk to open up the Brewers' offense, just as he did last night. Yelich aboard Willie Adamas is the batter. Sitting on 22 home runs, driven in 64, trying to get his offense turned around a little bit. This one hit to right center and deep. Get up! Get up! Get out of here! Gone for Willie Adamas! And the Brewers have a 2 nothing lead. He hit it out of here in deepest right center. Taylor Chased it to the wall and then watched it go. Willie Adamas follows with his 23rd home run of the year. For the patient mindset like both these teams have, it's a good day to hit. Struck him out. Fastball up in the zone. First strikeout for Woodruff. Able to get Lux on the high heater at 80 at 96 miles an hour. Top of the strike zone. One two pitch to Chris Taylor. Strikes out Taylor, 97 mile an hour fastball, a couple of strikeouts after the leadoff walk from Brandon Woodruff. Four punch outs, first two innings. Got to trust himself and trust in his ability that he can hit it, he can hit those spots. Gets a chase on this fastball and gets his third K. You can see how the ball was just that, that kind of tailing fastball that runs. It's not sinking, it's not going down, it's more running away from the hitter and it's the sinker usage from Brandon Woodruff since being activated from the injured list it's been the pitch for him. been a very good pitch for Woodruff since his return from the injured list see that batting average against it at 171 best in baseball struck him out with a high fastball five strikeouts for Brandon Woodruff and big velocity up out of the strike zone got best twice 97 miles an hour this pitch. One two pitch swing and a miss. He struck him out with another fastball. That one at 98. And Woodruff rolling through the top two in this Dodgers order here in the third. Freeman doubled against him first time he saw him. And launches the first one into right center. Back with a play McCutcheon and he makes the catch. Maybe just a tick off the end. Didn't miss it by much. It's a one two three inning for Brandon Woodruff. Middle of the order coming up for the Dodgers. See Brandon Woodruff what he's done so far in the first three innings. Six strikeouts against just one walk. Tired the last six he's faced. Four on strikeouts. Into right from McCutcheon. And Smith is out number one. Two balls and two strikes. Here's the pitch, and it is a caught third strike. A fastball at 98, and it's another strikeout for Brandon Woodruff, his sixth strikeout of the night. Boy, is he dealing tonight. This has been impressive. Got him. High heater, strikeout number eight for Brandon Woodruff. For four innings, it's 2 nothing Brew Crew. Dodgers looking to get the offense cranked up. Joey Gallo popped out in the first pitch that he saw his first time up. Here he turns on a ball, hits it to deep right field, and gone! Joey Gallo ambushes the first pitch of the fifth inning, and it's 2-1 on his third Dodger homer. He hits a laser beam out into the right field seats. Dodgers on the board, it's 2-1. And Gallo just ambushed him. Hookie's 0 for 2. Well, here's where teams typically start to hit Brandon Woodruff when they see him a third time. A 2-1 to Mookie Betts. It's driven to deep left field, and the game is tied! Joey Gallo and Mookie.
Mookie bats. Both go deep for Mookie, his 27th, and it's 2-2 in the fifth. This ball was crushed. And to the top of the order we go now in Christian Yelich. The Brewers offense has had someone on base in every inning against Pepio, but have not been into pay dirt. Swing and a high drive. Christian Yelich for the first time since July 2nd goes deep. All for his last 26, no more. Well, you talk about getting a monkey off your back. It's more like a 500 pound gorilla for Christian Yelich. Breaks the offer and finally able to get the home run. Oh, that's got to feel good for Yelly. Called to the pen, bring in Brad Boxberger for the first time since August 10th. Yeah, he had last pitch against the Rays on Wednesday. Got him. Slider up in the zone. Here comes Box. Swing and a miss on a beautiful changeup. He gets his second strikeout. Five and a half are in the book. Brewers three, Dodgers two. Matt Bush gets another opportunity. Still doing it at the age of 36. One away, one run game, Chris Taylor. Taylor drives the ball the other way. Back it goes. This game is tied. Opposite field home run, Chris Taylor. Third solo shot of the night. And it's 3-3 in the seventh. Devin Williams off the 50th time here in the ninth inning. Oh, 162, his earned run average outstanding for Devin. Put up a zero, get a run, and everybody goes home happy. Fly ball, center field. Jonathan Davis has a beat on it. Inning over. Devin Williams puts up a zero. Brewers will have Colton Wong to lead it off. Urias and then Victor Caratini trying to win it in the bottom of the ninth. For the bottom of the ninth inning, it is a return to Milwaukee for Phil Bickford. Got him. Got a chase way off of the plate to finish off the ninth inning. And we are on to extra innings. We'll go to the tenth. Pretty good curveball from Hobie Milner. It's one ball and one strike. Ground ball to short. It'll be Adamas going to third, and they get the out on Gallo. Terrible base poor running. Base running run. oh, terrible. My goodness. Good job by Willie Adamas. Here comes the pitch. And a ground ball hit to short. Adamas has it. Throws to first. In time, inning over. Colby Miller puts up a zero in the top of the 10. We go to the bottom of 10. It's a 3-3 ball game. And the Brewers, who have played in extra innings five of their last 11 games, with a chance to walk off the Dodgers here tonight in the bottom of the 10th inning. And that's down and in. Ball four, and it brings up Andrew McCutcheon. McCutcheon, a game-winning base hit earlier this season with the Brewers against the Padres. Lifted to center field. Taylor over. Makes the play. Saves the game. On to the 11th. Oh, what a play by Chris Taylor. Absolutely remarkable. A diving catch toward the warning track, and he saves the game. Go first and third with one away. And here's Justin Turner. Walking a single for Turner. One, two. Turner up the middle. It's a base hit, and the Dodgers take the lead. Two-strike RBI single to center field. Justin Turner makes it 4-3 Dodgers. And it's Craig Kimball to come in and pitch. Dodgers unable to get more than just the free runner. In. And the bases are loaded for Victor Caratini. Little flare, shallow right field. McCutcheon back to tag. He's going to try and score. Renfro right behind him. Safe, safe. Caratini wins it. The Brewers walk it off against the Dodgers. Caratini does it again. The Brewers walk off the Dodgers in 11 innings here tonight.